Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Digital Black Magic channel. My name is Christoph Esch. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace a DVD drive with a Blu ray drive. And I will show you how to check hardware in the device manager. Since we are upgrading my computer, and my computer runs Windows 10 in German, I will point out the differences in names and state the English names. So without further ado, let's get into it. I use the Windows 10 search to look for the control panel. Once the control panel is open, I select the system icon. In the upper left corner of this window, you can see the device manager. In the device manager, you can find a so-called tree. This tree links the devices of the computer and sorts them in categories. We are looking for DVD and CD drives. And as expected, we find my DVD writer installed because this is before the update. Here is my computer. I have unboxed the new device to have it at hand when needed. This side cover will open and allow me to access the internal devices. With the cover out of the way, I can see the DVD device mounted in the top slot of the system. To release the old DVD and get it out of the system, I will need to move the green lever at the top of the case, like so. Now the device is free, but the cables are still attached. Now I need to detach the power and the SATA cable. The power cable doesn't want to go easily. The DVD drive can now be removed. This is what I do and set it aside. I have shown the connectors of the new device as well as the cables in a previous video. As I replace the drive, I can show the connectors once again. The left plug is for power, while the right plug is dedicated to data. Five and a quarter inch devices have eight mounting holes, four on the left and four on the right side. In order to lock the new drive into place, it is mandatory to attach this bracket into the holes. The green lever will hold onto this bracket. With this bracket in place, the device is ready to be installed. This is what I do. And I attach the cables, power as well as SATA for the data transfer. The mounting of devices 
will differ from case to case. I am sure your case will require a different way of mounting. But the general idea is the same. Since the Blu-ray device is installed now, I can reassemble the computer and put the cover where it belongs. Please check the edges of the case after the cover has been installed. The covers like to bend and I like to avoid that. Let's go back to the device manager and check if the device was found. Again I use the search bar to open the control panel and select the system icon. In the upper left corner of the system window you will find the device manager. Within the device manager you can find CD DVD devices and voila the Blu-ray disc device shows up. To create a Blu-ray disc you need to insert an empty disc in the device. Then you drag data onto the device using the drag and drop method. The moment you drop data onto the device, a dialog opens, asking you what to do with the disc. I want to have a normal disc, so I select a DVD player, the second option. Once this dialog is closed, the data will be cached. That means prepared to be written to the disk. In this case, the data is my English YouTube videos, 18 gigs total. Once the data has been cached, you are able to use the context menu of the device to write data onto the disk. All what's left is to select a name and speed for the disk to be written. The disk write will take 17 minutes. My YouTube data is safe now. Mission accomplished. Thanks for watching my videos. Please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all the best.